hello there and welcome back to the channel guys right so a couple hours ago i did post the leaked available information that we had about updated alliance war season rewards and uh, well first things first the leak was in fact accurate and everything that we discussed there is in fact true in which case uh, all the top alliances definitely get a very very significant increase in rewards we can see tier 3 alpha and tier 6 basic and uh Full tier 5 CC selector for first place, full tier 5 CC catalyst for second place, um, for 25% crystals for third place, and then we can see still significant, significant increases uh, for the rest of the uh, top brackets. Also, significant changes, master, alliance, master bracket has been basically split in two different tiers for top 10 and top 20 alliances. We also saw Platinum 1, that Platinum 1 still also got a 6-star Nexus and significantly more if I class Catalyst Fragments. However, we did not have the information for Platinum 2 and below. And that is exactly what we're going to compare here and see how this affects lower alliances mainly. So in order to do that, the best way for me to do that, I believe, will be just like this so we're currently going to take a look at in-game starting platinum 2 and then we can compare platinum 2 to how it is going to look in uh, near future so platinum 2 used to get 15,000 six star shards 40,000 five star shards a bit of tier 5 cc and one and a half tier 5 basic three tier 2 alpha now you get increase slight increase in tier 2 alpha and tier 5 basic but i think the bigger change there is uh, that you get uh 17,500 from 15,000. Wait, that doesn't. Well, you get actually less 5 star shots, which is quite interesting. Previously, you used to get 40,000 5 star shots, now you get only one uh, 5 star nexus, but there is definitely a significant increase in tier uh, 5 class catalyst fragments. I suspect it is about 60% tier 5 CC opposed to 20 before, so you guys get triple the amount of tier 5 CC. However, you guys get less 5 stars, uh, slightly more 6 stars. So that is actually hmm, a bit weird. They could have surely given at least a couple of nexuses. Or three, like 3 5 star nexuses instead. But hey. Okay, let's move on to plat 3. So plat 3 is here with 10,000 6 star shards. 35,000 5 star shards. 10% tier 5 CC. And it is changed to 15,000 6 star shards and a 5-star Nexus, and 50% tier 5 CC. So that is quite a significant increase. I kind of feel bad for Plat 2 players. Like, you guys get, the obviously, solid increase in tier 5 CC, but I kind of feel that Plat 3 got uh, the better end of the deal there. So I can compare Plat 4. Where's Plat 4? 5,000 6-star shots, 30,000 5-star shots, 10% tier 5 CC. To now be 12,000. So that's, that's a very steep increase in 6-star shots. Uh, again, slight reduction in uh, five star acquisition there, but definitely four times as much tier five CC. So even at platinum four now, getting forty percent tier five CC is uh, is. I'm gonna tell you exactly how well it is. Forty percent tier five CC is more than masters alliances used to get. So when it comes to tier five CC amount, then platinum four is going to get more than Masters got for this season, so that is definitely a very significant increase on that resource in particular. And also, very big increase in 6 shots, more than double. So that is quite reassuring. I know a lot of people are in Gold Alliances, so let's see the change for Gold Alliances. So we have Gold 1, 2,500 6 shards. Currently, it's changed up to 10,000 6 shards. I get a major bump, and... Uh, how low now? Gold 3 even gets tier 5 class catalyst fragments uh, versus previously gold 1 didn't even get that. So I think that alone is going to give some incentive for some, many alliances to at least pay a little bit closer attention. So you can definitely see quite a huge improvement from gold 1 previously to now. And gold 2 and 3 are here as well. We can see that gold 3 used to be only 10,000 5 star shards, 11,000 tier 5 basic fragments, 2 tier 2 alphas, versus now 6,000 6 star shards, 5 star nexus, 10% uh, tier 5 CC, likely 1.5 tier 5 basic. Man, that is a huge jump. 
relatively compared if you put it next to the same effort that you put in before. And even lower, we can see still very, very significant increases. So we can see silver one, uh, you already get six star shards, you get uh, 15,000 five star shards, full TFI basic. Man, these are definitely, definitely very potent improvements all across the board. Uh, so what is the lowest one that gets six star shards in the new system here? There is silver three. We can see the comparison of silver three. You used to get uh, 3,000 five star shards, 4,000 four star shards, opposed to 1,000 six star shards and 10,000 five star shards and uh half a tfi basic and that, that is definitely much more worthwhile in my opinion and again does not solve all the problems lines war has by no means but these reward increases are without a doubt substantial at least in my opinion because the rewards for in many cases for most needed resources are effectively tripled or quadrupled and yeah, that definitely, definitely looks quite enticing, at least to me. Uh, but I'm not going to stretch this video out any longer. As I said, I already discussed the top tier rewards uh, in the previous video when I was discussing the leaked information, which once again turned out to be accurate. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Will these changes make you consider Alliance War once again as a more worthwhile investment of your resources and time? Or at the very least, get you to pay a bit more attention to alliance war i obviously know for myself and my own alliance that uh we are definitely at the bare minimum uh eyeing the top 10 masters but obviously we're going to be trying to get up until the very first spot so that is where my alliance stands either way let me know what are your plans what do you guys plan to do with uh this information with the updated alliance war rewards and uh, whether you look forward to the next Alliance War season. That being said, I have said everything that I wanted to say. And I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about...